How's it going, brother? It's going pretty good. How about you? Man? It's going good, brother. You know? How tough is the transition so far? Um, you know, it's pretty tough at first, you know, making the transition. But <laughs> after a while, when you're playing against guys like Jerry, it, it makes it a lot easier to make that transition. Yeah, let's talk home. about that. If Cal took on West Virginia when you were there <laughs> and, and Jerry Porter was at West Virginia, Give me a score and a prediction of win or loss. Well, I, I couldn't give you a score, but I, I definitely know that we would have won. All right, Raider fans, here we are. The Raiders. Let me tell you something, brother. <laughs> I'll smack you. I'll beat you with it. We would have beat West Virginia uh, Cavaliers. The Mountaineers. Mountaineers. I'm sorry. Wow. The West, the West Virginia Mountaineers. We would have beat them. Uh, Jerry wouldn't have played. I'll see you in the ring. <laughs> you step into the square circle, brother. You better be ready. <laughs> have you adjusted? to the Bay Area and have you found a place to live yet? I have found a place to live. Uh, right. My phone number for you ladies is, no. <laughs> Ak is a good guy, you know, and the thing about him is he's got long, arm, long arms uh, for guys like Lincoln here. Yeah, and speaking of, we've got Lincoln Kennedy showing up back here in the background. Lincoln, Lincoln's trying to make himself look small right now. But, you know. <laughs> I'll tell you, Link's <laughs> had that problem since we came in the league together. <laughs> Who is the greatest defensive back of all time, Willie? I need to answer that for you. <laughs> okay, let's talk about it each and every week we do it. The three keys to a Raiders victory. I know you brought some special props. I, I bought a special prop for the key <laughs> section of this game. And the one thing we all have to do as Raiders, we got to get our game faces on when we get out to the Coliseum. In high school, Craig Long was voted most likely to agitate an NFL player. We think his classmates were wrong, and we'll give you complete evidence here in a second. Hey, wait a minute, George. I was actually voted best mullet in high school. All right, Raider fans, here we are at the Raiders Alameda practice facility, and we're joined by a very special Hollywood guest, none other than Antonio Huggy Bear Fargus. In black. People are out there camping out on Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Are they taking showers? Might not be taking showers and might need to find a job. <laughs> Raiders.com on the edge host Craig Long loves Halloween. In fact, Craig dressed up as a pirate every year as a child to resemble that guy in the Raider Shield. Hey, Craig, who did you dress up as this year, man? You, George. I went out trick-or-treating, dressed up as number 43, George Atkinson. I bet you got a lot of candy, right? Actually, George, I did, but I dropped them all. Must be the jersey or something. All right, George, here we are inside of one of the Raiders. Raiders.com on the edge host Craig Long loves the holiday season. He's a very giving person, but is one of those kind of guys that you really feel his kindness in person. You know, Craig. George, oh, hey, thanks man. for inviting me up here, buddy. I appreciate it. I didn't invite you, really, man. Oh, you didn't invite no, me? No, I didn't. Well, I had to come up here once, George. I haven't been in the studio all year long. I had to come up here to see what you really do, man. Well, you know, what we really do is make you look good, man. And you do a good job of that. I'm from Iowa. I haven't found anybody from Iowa in here yet. No, nah, you ain't gonna find them. We're like missing that out now. on some true yeah. talent, probably, yeah. don't you think? JP, if I played football, mm -hmm. all right, what position would you put me in? I'd put you a tailback. Sweet. Sweet! I like that! Every time, go, every time you go in the field, I say, get your tail back here. <laughs> Everybody knows where UT Martin is, man. I'm going to ask Charles right now. <laughs> Have you ever heard of Tennessee Martin? Who? Tennessee Martin. Who is it? No, it's not a person, it's a school. Joined by equipment assistant Danny Molino and Pro Football Hall of Famer Jim Otto. Guys, I just went out on the practice field and attempted a 25-yard field goal attempt. Do you think I made it or missed it? You know what? I think you made it. Are you serious? Yeah. I'd say no good. You did it. Big snack. The question I want to know is how bad did you miss? No good. Nobody's got any faith in me, man. What's up with it? You're what we call a non-athlete. <laughs> You're lining me up to go to the Pro Bowl. If you missed it, I get to mark something on your face. If you made it, I don't mark nothing on your face. You think I made it or missed well, it? Well, you got tremendous legs. I think you nailed it. Tremendous legs. 
but I don't think you made it. Out here today, I have New York Pete as my holder. It's a fake! It's a fake. <laughs> so I'm going old school, straight on. I don't need to step to the side, man. Pete, you got it? All right, here we go, man. Inside of these four walls, Jerry, I know everybody appreciates your help. You know what? Don't forget, you're just the producer of On the Edge. I'm the host. Back to you, buddy. Thank you, Craig.